What's up guys? In case you didn't see, I made a video of I Wanna Beat the Mega Jump 3 in which I showed that this is actually 100% possible. This jump right here. And in this video, I am going to explain why it's possible, explain how to do it, how it works, and all that good stuff. So this jump right here is the lowest possible jump that you can do in an I Wanna Be The Guy game. No amount of of one frame jumping or or single jump canceling or anything. Here, let's try a single jump cancel. Well, that's the lowest you can get with a single jump cancel. So, in case you don't know how that works, you bump your head into the ceiling and you keep holding shift and then you release shift and one frame later one frame is going to be 0 0.02 seconds you press the other shift key which cancels the first jump and makes it a very very small jump however this uses a much more complex mechanic by the way you can't go to the side because there's spikes there so yeah so now now that you've seen that in action here, I'll show you really quickly. If you watch, it'll do a full jump, and then it does a tiny jump. What I have set up is a macro to do that for me, because this is basically impossible for humans. So let me just pull up a thing. All right, so now I've got my keyboard macro program open. And as you can see, these are all the key presses right here. So there's nothing to scroll down even though it has the scroll bar. So first off, you press shift, then you press shift again, then you press shift a third time. So here's a 0 0.02 second delay in between those shift presses. 0 0.02 again is a frame. Even though it says 0 0.019, that's just because the program every time I tried to set it to 0 0.02, it would just switch it to this. No idea why. So this this right here is completely optimized. Um, this part right here, you don't have to set it for this exact value. You can do whatever value you want for that, honestly. You just want to make sure that all the, that both of the shifts are pressed down, all three of them, I mean. And then, here's a 1.5 second delay. And if you remember, when I, when I actually did the mega jump, uh, I moved to the side did a little hop and then I moved back to the middle and did the tiny hop so that's the 1.5 second delay the moving part so that allows me to get into position in time so then right here you release shift and then immediately press shift again so that's a single jump cancel so that would be the smallest jump you could do with a single jump without anything fancy so that one's possible for a human basically and then a frame later you release, uh, you release shift, frame later, release shift again, and then a third frame, you release shift another time. So, that makes for a ridiculously low single jump. This is not a double jump. This is all just one single jump. Um, so the idea behind it, this first release cancels it, Second release cancels it a tiny bit more, and then the third release does nothing except make you fall 0 0.01 pixels faster, I believe. No, just 0.1. I believe that's right. So, even though it might not seem like this third release is necessary, you will not be able to do it without that. Supposedly, you'll die three-fourths of a pixel from the ground, which is nuts. But that's the way it has to work. Alright, so here are the calculations for doing the Mega Jump 3. Uh, this was made by Kanata. He had no way of testing the jumps, so he just did the math and apparently was right with it because it works. So I can't say I understand what any of this is. I know that that is the, the height of just a normal jump and then, then it decreases and then <laughs> falls. I don't... I can't explain it. Maybe Kanata could explain it a little bit better, but if you understand this, then congratulations. So that's the idea behind it. Alright, so let's go through that one more time. You open it up, and then I press M4, which is my macro key. You hear the little jump, 
move over to the side, and then there it is. There's the tiny jump. So, that is how you do the Mega Jump 3. If you wanted to do this as an actual human, what you would want to do is set three shift keys that are really close to each other, probably like W, A, D, or arrow keys, or something like that, or get a second keyboard, which would be nuts. Um, but yeah, you can see the process in my macro program. You can follow along with that. And now you should be able to do the Mega Jump 3 as well. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you all go and beat this fantastically wonderful Mega Jump. And bye-bye.